Master Gardeners, I'm at one of my 4-H family's houses, and in absolute frustration, they have a wildflower bed running all the way down your, their driveway, as you can see behind me. And last summer, in total frustration, the ragweed was four foot tall, all going to seed. So they decided to plant a smother crop, and they cut everything to the ground. They tilled, lightly tilled this whole bed all the way down the driveway. They didn't care what happened. They were so frustrated with the weeds. In the past years, they had just sown wildflower mixes, and it had been nice. Years had gone by. They were getting far too many seeds. So in this frustration, mowed it to the ground in the summer. In the fall, they sowed, they had sowed some wheat, and then when uh, late summer came October, they sowed an ornamental oats. So originally they had sowed wheats, which you can come on in and take a look. Here's some wheat stems that have remained, and then they sowed a more ornamental type of oats. And these two plants functioned as a smother crop here in this bed. What happened is when the spring came in, the oats overwintered this year because it was a mild winter and the oats overwintered and the, it worked like a nurse crop and it nurtured all these black eyed Susans so that they were able to read their seeds came up. Now, what is interesting is oats has an allelopathic effect and um, oats look at some of these pretty Rebecca oats will have chemical warfare against other seeds and will keep them from germinating. But it doesn't seem to have affected any of these. Look at this pretty Rebecca's down here. Here's a pretty burgundy colored one. But it doesn't seem to have inhibited the germination of any of these. There's even a little bit of Coreopsis mixed inside of this bed. Here's a Coreopsis down here that came up. Now mind you, he did not sow any seeds at all. These are all plants that were just, had sown their own seeds the oats had come up in the fall. It overwintered, even though it was a harsh winter on them. They sprouted in the spring. This bed was all oats in April and May, March, April, May. And it was just enough nursing along to inhibit the growth of the ragweed. Now let's look at the ragweed. Here's your ragweed foliage. Let's back up a little bit. Let me show you another big ragweed back here. Here's a big tall one. As you can see, they're already getting started. Their rag feeds two feet. But remember, last year, these were four foot tall at the end of summer. So the oats functioned to inhibit the growth of a lot of the weeds. And yet it allowed the Rudbeckia and the Coreopsis are starting to come in. So a lot of the other flowers came back. So it's pretty awesome. Take a look all the way down the driveway here. They've got some ragweed down at the end a little more. Some ragweed coming in and they're really pleased overall with the flowers that have come back and they have no expense to them. So pretty cool how the oats served as a smother crop. So there you go, Master Gardeners, something new.